please read and familiarize yourself with the manual and provided safety information. Hi, congrats on owning Ingersoll Rand Air Compressor. In this video, we'll talk about keeping up with coolant levels to maximize longevity of your machine. We'll show you how to top off coolant, teach you when and how to change it, and cover what to do if you're switching coolant brands. Coolant is the lifeblood of your compressor, as it regulates temperature, improves efficiency, and keeps your system lubricated. We recommend Ingersoll Rand Premium Coolants to provide the quality and protection your compressor needs. No matter which coolant you choose, it's important to avoid mixing different coolant types in your compressor. Mixing coolants can trigger chemical reactions that causes seals to swell and leak, gaskets and hoses to deteriorate, and premature failures that can lead to expensive repairs. Only top off with the exact coolant that's currently in your compressor. Topping off maintains correct coolant levels and replenishes critical coolant additives that protect vital parts. Check your machine periodically to figure out how often you'll need to top off. But if you're topping off frequently, be sure to inspect condensate drains and inline filters for evidence of coolant. You may also need to examine your separator element and check your scavenge line for blockage. Always verify coolant level and operating temperature when the machine is loaded, never at shutdown. Operating temperature is achieved after about 10 minutes of running loaded. The correct coolant level is halfway up the site class. If coolant is low, here's how to top off. Power down the unit by pushing the stop button only when running in the unloaded mode. Units with onboard controllers will unload automatically if the stop button is pressed. Once off, verify that a unit is de-energized, both electrically isolated and vented of compressed air. Then, slowly remove the fill cap. If you hear air escaping, retighten the cap and ensure all pressure is vented. If fully vented, pour coolant into the sump all the way to the top of the sight glass. Then, replace and tighten the fill cap. Start your compressor and run it for about 10 seconds, just long enough for the coolant to level off in the sight glass. It is normal for the coolant level to drop in the site class while running. If necessary to achieve the correct coolant level, shut down the unit again, slowly remove the fill cap, and refill the sump to the top of the site class once more. Replace and tighten the fill cap, and then run again at operating temperature to confirm the coolant level is at the correct position in the middle of the site class. Repeat this process as necessary. The best way to know when to change your coolant is to enroll in Ingersoll Rand's Coolant Analysis Program. The program matches your compressor's exact coolant change out needs based on your specific operating conditions. Otherwise, coolant change intervals will be based on the number of service hours listed on the coolant. Ultra Coolant, or Ultra FG, changes every 8,000 hours. Ultra 4K every 4,000 hours. Note that some applications may require shorter coolant intervals. Refer to the maintenance interval schedule in your manual for details. It is recommended to begin draining coolant after the machine has run at full operating temperature for the liquid to drain more easily and any contaminants remain suspended. When switching coolants, a flush and fill is strongly recommended to avoid the unnecessary risk of mixing coolants. If you're replacing with the same coolant, then a flush is not necessary. To drain your old coolant, stop the machine, electrically isolate and vent all trap pressure, then place a suitable container close to the drain valve Slowly remove the fill cap and remove the plug from the drain valve. Open the drain valve to empty coolant into the container. Note that the included drain adapter hose is needed for the R-Series. Once all coolant has been drained, close the drain valve and replace the plug. Refill with new coolant following the top-off procedure we covered earlier. If necessary, shut down the unit again and refill the sump to the top of the sight glass once more. Replace and tighten the fill cap, and then run again at operating temperature to confirm the coolant level is the correct position in the middle of the site class. Always use appropriate procedure based on your local legislative requirements for disposal of used coolant. 